Peace, 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 my fellow gamers. 6-4 here, and today I have an awesome unboxing of the Google Stadia Founders Edition controller. Got a little shadow there. As you can see, you got the controller and the Chromecast. This is what comes in the Founders Edition bundle. So go ahead and do a quick little unboxing for you guys. I'm sure you guys have seen quite a few videos, but it's always exciting to unbox your own, right? So for those who might not have seen, this is what comes inside the Founders Edition. This beautiful, beautiful, I would call it midnight blue. I don't know exactly what they call it. Um, but God, that's a beautiful control. Look at that. Yeah, that midnight blue and that sunset orange. <laughs> that is what I would call it there. What is that? Oh, okay. Very nice. Got the Google G in the print. So feeling the controller. Okay, these are really clicky. Not bad. Okay, these are kind of soft. They're not bad though. They're just, mm, they're not quite digital. They're analog, but yeah, they don't have much resistance. Really clicky. Uh, D-pad. Okay, these are all clicky buttons, not soft and squishy. Yeah, these are all pretty responsive. Kind of small, but not too bad. The thumb pads aren't where I would like them to be. I would definitely like them to be offset, but this will do. Feels good in the hand. Kind of small, actually. Not bad. It's, it's actually a good size for the hand, at least for my hand anyway. A little bit of texture on the bottom, if you can see that. Yeah, it's pretty. Very pretty, but as you can see, it's very soft. I thought they were actually gonna be digital. Hmm. Not bad, let me do that again. Um, personally, I would say this controller, a lot of people have been making a comparison between, oh, that click is really nice. But a lot of people have been making a comparison between the, um, between the DualShock and the Xbox One controller. But I would, or like saying it's a merger of those two, I would say it's more of a merger between the DualShock and the Switch Pro controller, if you ask me. And... I say that because I have a pro controller right here. Move that box to the side for a second. We put those side by side. Me personally, I think they look quite familiar. And in fact, they feel quite a bit familiar as well. Because how skinny the grips are. It's just like a pro controller. Now, this is a, a GUI kit controller but it is an Xbox One-like uh, controller. I mean, it's configured the same exact way. So if you look at this, and you look at that, and the Pro Controller, we'll put it in between the two. You tell me what it looks more like. There we go. Definitely more like the Pro, okay? Definitely more like the Pro Controller. Uh, the button layout is, you know, uh, like the Xbox, if anything. But I mean, it's literally just the letters on the on a you know configuration. <laughs> that doesn't make too much difference. But the way it feels in hand, it definitely feels more like the Pro controller. And then with the the sticks at the bottom here and the D pad up top, like a PS4 uh, Dual Shock. And then of course the um, analog triggers more like a PS4 instead of the digital on the Switch Pro Controller. Anyway, let's go ahead and get those out of the way. Hey, what one controller is like as well, it's like that classic SNES controller. Can't go wrong with this bad boy. <laughs> Had to throw that in there. All right, so what else is in the box? So we've got the beautiful Beautiful 
Midnight Blue and Sunset Orange. Stadia Founders Edition Controller. Looks like we also get a USB to USB-C cable. Looks like all okay. And then a charging port. I mean, I guess this goes to the controller because it. Oh, let's just see. Oh, and a charging port. Okay. To pull this up. Ah, uh, yes. We'll get into that in a second. Down to the meat and potatoes. We have the Chromecast, which has magnetized bottom there. Chromecast Ultra, excuse me. We got a little something on there. Okay, that comes off, I see. All right, so yeah, the Chromecast Ultra. And then, of course, it's charging brick. And that is a micro USB. It also has uh, a line in for Ethernet, which I will be taking advantage of. I'll have the Chromecast set up in my bedroom, and we'll have the 86 inch in the bedroom there, and that's where I'll be using the um, Stadia as far as television. I may use it downstairs because I plan on getting a, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, a projector. And blow that thing up to about 120 inches if possible, <laughs> as big as we can get it. Um, downstairs, I may use it there, but mm, more than likely I won't. That's more for a theater, you know, experience downstairs in the living room. Okay, so anyway, here's what we got in total. Okay. I guess this paperwork here may be some instruction booklets. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, wow. It says, the promise of creating one place for all the ways we play is a long-held dream. Today, we're proud to see that dream become a reality. A community of players is the core of Stadia. Thank you for being the first to gather around. <laughs> the Stadia team. Awesome. Yeah, and it did say something like that on the box here, right? What did it say? Sorry, I didn't show you that, guys, that earlier. It says from the box, one place for all the ways we play. Cool. So, ooh, look at that. A couple of stickers. Follow me on Twitter and hit me up if you want some of those stickers. One of those stickers there. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we got to get started with the controller. That's pretty self-explanatory. And just a few other bits of information there. And that's pretty much it in that beautiful hue you got inside the Stadia colors. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is experiment with this controller tonight. See how it uh, fares next to the Switch controller, which I've been using, the Switch Pro controller. And that's been an incredible experience. Again, I'm not a fan of the uh, the analog sticks being at the bottom here. But, I mean, I'm going to try it. Why not? And plus, it has Wi-Fi connectivity. I know that if I'm using it on the PC, which I've been using it on, on the Surface. But, um, oh well, I'll just plug it in and... Check it out, see how it works that way. And then when I'm ready to work on a television, I will do so. Okay. And that's it, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions about Stadia? If you have any comments about Stadia, if you've been using it, if you're having a great experience, if you're having a horrible experience, you got any games that you want to see me stream and uh, get some detailed information on how it plays, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, you can subscribe for more videos in the future. Hit that notification bell. Until next time, you guys. Peace.
and thanks for watching.